So there was this boy, well, this man that came to, the to our school today for an assembly, and his name was John Halligan. Halligan, I don't know how to say it. He told us his son's story on how his son committed suicide to cyberbullying and bullying. It, that movie moved to tears, and it's so sad. Um, his son hung himself. Just, it was just sad. We talked about it in history class because we had shortened periods that day, today. I told my whole history class my story. How I did it, how I survived, how I survived um, my first year of high school. I told my class, there are times I wanted to give up and just grab that rope and just hang myself with it. And there were times I wanted to take a bottle of pills and just call it forever. I told him about me self mewling myself and I said, when you get bullied, you do the dumbest things. You do anything for anyone to like you. You'll do, you'll like make yourself look pretty. You'll put more makeup on. You'll improve your walk, the way you talk, like every, anything just to get someone to know, hey, this person's cool. And to make it worse, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome in that last like, one video I had about anorexia and Asperger's syndrome, which I think is dumb. Excuse me for a second. Okay. <laughs> um, it's about just saying how I got diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when I was 13. They're the same age. Ryan Hangley, Hangley, Halligan died. <laughs> it was a very sad time for me because I just, you know, sorry. I didn't really want to live anymore when they diagnosed me. So, I'm sorry about the light right there. It's, I need good lighting. So, I'm now in professional help for suicide and um, self mutilation just until I get to be an outpatient, which I think means that you get a counselor outside of school. Um, so, if you know someone that says, I'm ready to die, just tell them Take it seriously, actually, and, you know, get talk to a trusted adult about suicide. Or learn more in a um, help book, actually, because there's stuff in suicide. Um, John Halligan got a, a law passed for a suicide to be talked about in school. And I think he got another one passed in Vermont, because he lives in Vermont. Um, well, after Ryan died, about a few months after he died, um... <laughs> The bully kept spreading stuff about his own son, saying Ryan was weak and he was gay. And it just, it set a fire in my heart saying that little shit deserves to die. But something happened during the assembly. A girl laughed during the assembly. Yes, a girl laughed, but her status said it was a wrong time to laugh. And she didn't mean to. A kid fell out of his chair while he was sleeping. And he just fell out of his chair. And just, you know, well, oh my goodness. <laughs> so she, was, she apologized to the man. And he was like, you think this is funny? My son, well, he didn't say that. But now to me, I would say, my son's dead and you're laughing? I'd bring that bitch up. But she's not a bitch. She even said in her status it was the wrong time to laugh. She apologizes, and it was just, you know, this whole big hullabaloo over something really, really dumb. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. If you know someone who's dealing with something like this, if you had someone who died in, to suicide, I'm very sorry for you guys, and you'll see them again Sunday. You'll see him at that early gate, and then you can hug him as long as you want. I think I end today's vlog. Um, another day, another vlog. Abigail Osberger. I'll see you guys later. Bye.